in the first session we will create header component so let's create a blank canvas app new app click on create go to blank app choose blank canvas app i will name this app to one page responsive app i'll choose this format as tablet click on create to make this app as responsive you need to go to settings display turn this off scale to fit click on close save the app as we have to build one page app so we need to add that screen so go to new screen and choose scrollable so this screen one we don't need it anymore click on three dots and delete uh, we don't need this border select it and delete it also remove this rectangle uh, remove this y axis as well okay so now we are using uh, four colors in the app light medium dark and super dark so for that i'll create one variable in the app on start so let me copy all those color variables i'll paste it over here so i created one variable which is global using the set its app colors and i have added four types of color here light color medium dark color and super dark click on three dots and choose run on start so that all variables values get populated so now what i want to do is i need to put the light green color to the entire app so i'll choose this green too and use the fill property and in the fill i'll add app colors dot light color so we got the light background so i rename this screen to to finance tracker now we need to build the top container so for that i will add one horizontal container so i'll select this uh, screen click on insert and choose horizontal container set its x axis to 0 and y is also 0 as i want this container should have the same width which app have so what i'll do is i'll choose this width and set its width to app dot width okay so i i need some fixed height so uh, i'll choose this header height to 80 and uh, i'll go to its drop shadow and make it none and set its border radius to 0 so i'll rename this to as top container now if you see here so your top container contains two parts one part contains the next gen logo and the second part contains the menu icons and links so i'll divide this horizontal container into two parts by putting two vertical containers so i select this horizontal container and click on insert and add vertical container so i copy this and again select this horizontal container and paste it So now I have added two vertical containers within this top container, which is a horizontal container. So let me rename this to top left. I'll rename this to top right. So this container, I want the width should be uh, one fourth, and the rest of the width should be taken care by the right container because in right container we will be adding the links. So for top left, its fill portion is one of two. Here I'll make it three of four. so you can see uh, the right container is having more width and the left container is having the one portion out of four so let me remove its border radius to 0 and drop shadow to none similarly for this one border radius set it to 0 drop shadow to none and now let's change its align to container so we want this uh, top left container should be within the parent container so i'll choose this one and set its height to 80 which is equivalent to parent container and similarly i'll also set its to custom to the start one and set its height to equivalent to parent container so now let's add the image logo in the top left section so click on insert image choose an image click on upload i'll choose a logo click on open now we need to change the image property to so image position is fit let me set its width as 150 and height to equivalent to the parent container which is 80 and also uh, we will add some left spacing for that we will go to the container and add a padding of 10 to the left side so now our image has been clearly placed in the top section 
So let's rename this to logo image. Now choose the right section. Here we'll have to add the four links. So for that I'll add four buttons. As I want to use the modern controls. So for that we need to enable that. So go to setting and under and in the update setting turn this on modern controls and themes. Click close. So now modern controls have been enabled. So now in the top right section click on insert. So I'll choose this modern button. So let me change this formatting. So for text I choose as income and let me change one icon. So for that I'll choose the money icon. Layout is fine. So now we need to change its color. So go to its font color and here I'll choose app colors dot dark color. We need to remove this background color. So let's change the appearance. So I'll make it transparent. Okay. So what we have to do is now let's the change its position. So choose the container and justify vertical. Okay. Similarly, uh, let me add another button. I'll copy paste it. Okay. As its uh, float is vertically. So let me change this direction to horizontal. So that this flows at horizontal. Okay. So for that we need to align vertical to center. Okay. So now uh, first one is income and second is expense. I'll change this text to expense and for expense uh, I'll choose a shopping icon. Yeah, this one. And the third one is supplier and choose this people icon for supplier and the last one is report. So I'll choose this document icon for report. Okay. And the icon style I'll change it to filled so that it appears more fancy filled and this one is also filled okay so let's try to run an app so this one completes our top header section and the next session uh, we will do the responsiveness of this top header thank you so let's check the responsive behavior of top header so play the app so here you can see uh, in the mobile so uh, this logo has taken the more space as required and these uh, icons are not appearing correctly okay so what i need to do is i'll add one more logo for the mobile device so here i'll what i'll do is i'll upload small logo uh, okay i'll click on open okay so here uh, what i'll do is uh, based on the device size i'll change this logo image dynamically so i go to this image and here I'll check is if my screen finance tracker dot size is less than equal to screen size dot small then display the logo small okay otherwise display the entire logo logo image the name of this logo is logo so now you can see uh, when we are on a mobile device so the image has changed and if we are on the canvas size so our image has changed all right so here if you can see uh, this is taking the more space because uh, there is a minimum width for this container so that we need to remove it okay now if we run it and also uh, we need to remove its its width okay so what i do is i'll go to its width property and here i'll put the same formula i'll select the image so here if screen size dot small then let's change its width to 50 okay else we will keep the width 150 all right so let's try to run it so now you can see uh, our logo has been placed correctly when it's on mobile device okay so when it's on mobile device so we need to wrap these links to the next line so that it appears correctly so for that i'll choose this container and turn this wrap property to on okay let's try to run it now you can see in the mobile device this logo as well as these links are appear correctly so i'll choose uh, this one apple ipod pro so here as well our logo is correctly placed as well as these links are appearing correctly okay so this is all about the responsiveness of this top header thank you